Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. This is your Lake News Update. Visitors and weekenders flocked to the lake for Memorial Day weekend in a strong opening to the summer season. Gas prices dipped just in time for boaters to hit the water, and even Mother Nature cooperated with dry weather and temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Waterfront restaurants, marinas, and resorts have reported a stellar weekend for business. And while for many Memorial Day is about sharing free time and fun on the lake with family and friends, the American Legion over the holiday reminded all of us of the men and women who have served to protect the freedoms we all enjoy. Zach Wheat Post 624 held its annual Memorial Day ceremony with Army Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Bevington, a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom, as the guest speaker. He spoke of the military personnel from Missouri who have made the ultimate sacrifice since Memorial Day last year. The American Legion was chartered and incorporated by Congress back in 1919 as a patriotic veterans organization devoted to mutual helpfulness. It's the nation's largest veterans service organization committed to mentoring youth and sponsoring of wholesome programs, advocating patriotism and honor promoting strong national security and continued devotion to service members and veterans. The Zach Wheat Post in Sunrise Beach was chartered back in 72. Emergency responders get all kinds of call on Lake of the Ozarks. As a general rule, they come to expect the unexpected. But when the call came in Saturday morning to flow a John Deere tractor, it was a first. A Sunrise Beach resident was moving landscaping rock and dumping it near a seawall with a rental Deere utility tractor. Apparently, the tractor slid down the ramp over the seawall and into the lake, with the operator still aboard. Fortunately, when the tractor rolled onto its side, a safety bar prevented it from turning upside down and the man was able to escape mostly unscathed, with the exception of a bruised ego. And new rules for dock owners in the Osage Beach Fire Protection District could be coming soon. Docks have been subjected to extra security and scrutiny after several electrocutions on the lake last year. Currently, docks must be inspected by the fire district if the dock has been newly constructed, remodeled, or relocated. The district is now considering a requirement that a dock be inspected before it can be bought or sold. A meeting to hear public comment about this idea has been scheduled for June 18th at 4 p.m. at the Osage Beach Fire Protection District Headquarters. The Morgan County Sheriff's Department is cracking down on drunk driving. This week, the sheriff will set up a checkpoint in the county from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. The checkpoint will be clearly marked, the sheriff's office reported, and vehicles will be selected to move through the check lanes. The department said that it will also be looking for unlicensed driver at, drivers at the checkpoint, saying these drivers are typically more likely to cause a fatal crash. The village of Sunrise Beach welcomed Woods Supermarket with a grand opening and ribbon cutting last week. The grocery chain is owned by the Woods family and 94-year-old found Don Woods Sr. attended last week's opening at the lake. Don Woods Jr. spoke at the ceremony and thanked the many people involved in bringing the supermarket to Sunrise Beach. Scam artists have been targeting Ameren customers, according to the report by the company. The scammers are reportedly calling customers and threatening to disconnect electrical services unless a payment is made immediately. One victim claims she was even called while at work. Ameren is warning customers to keep their guard up and said no one should ever give any financial information to a person who requests it by calling, emailing, or showing up at their home. Official Ameren representatives will always have clear photo identification, the company said, and if you're still in doubt, just call the company and ask. Water gushed across Highway KK in Osage Beach last week after a contractor for Summit Natural Gas hit a main line. The water filled the bottom floor of one building with three inches of water, according to the owner, and Dogwood Hills Golf Course also reported some issues with water flowing onto the course. A Summit representative said the contractor is responsible for the damages that were caused. Last week, after two months of competition, the queen of Sing Your Heart Out was crowned. Kalia Dyer won a Caribbean cruise for two by singing her way through incredible local voices in the finals at Captain Ron's Bar and Grill. Sing Your Heart Out is sponsored by Polylift, 1019 The Wave, and Captain Ron's. On the east side, the chance for fame and fortune brought locals to bootleggers last week for the Lake Idol competition. The contest has been running every Thursday since March and there are only two weeks left. Winners receive $7,000, and the grand prize is a private audition for the TV show America's Got Talent. 
Wet Steps paired a famous blues artist with wonderful cause for their summer kickoff party on Monday at Backwater Jacks. Famous blues guitarist Hayden Sayers played songs from his hit album Rolling Soul and Company donated a West Step for raffle that benefited the Children's Learning Center in Camdenton. How about some fishing news? The bass spawn is pretty much complete. That's the word from Jim Dill, local fishing guru at Lake of the Ozarks. And that means anglers will need to adapt their fishing methods. Some bass may still be found around old spawning areas like shallow gravel beds and they can be caught on buzz baits, zoom super flukes, and spooks. But the fish are generally trending away from those places and they're heading back out to deep water. Pockets, main lake points, and secondary points are the place to find them. And Dill suggests three baits for those fish. Crocogators, shaker heads rigged with zoom trick worms, Jean LaRue salt flicker rule lures, and Senko lures. On Saturday, it's the event you've all been waiting for, the Ole and JC's annual testicle festival. The event is full of music, festival atmosphere, and a chance to sample some Rocky Mountain oysters. The festival is free and expected to draw thousands of spectators. And it's time once again for Jacob's Cave Swappin' Days. The event to be held this Thursday through Sunday attracts thousands of outdoor shoppers and vendors for 70 acres of buying, selling, trading. Swap features handcrafted goods, collectibles, animals, and farm fresh produce. The first swap, 36 years ago, attracted just 50 cars. The 2013 swap expects to attract more than 10,000. Swapping Days is held in spring, summer, and fall at the Jacobs Cave Meadowlands between Versailles and Gravois Mills. Also Saturday, the City of Lori will hold the third annual Lori Gun and Knife Show. The show offers enthusiasts the opportunity to buy, sell, and trade at the Lori Terrace Mall off Main Street. The event begins at 8 o'clock a.m. On the water, the Ozark Yacht Club will host the Kids Harbor Charity Regatta. Sailors will race through the early morning and afternoon, followed by a reception with dinner, raffles, and a trophy presentation. Kids Harbor is a child advocacy center serving Lake of the Ozarks. Fort Leonard Wood and surrounding areas. The agency assists victims of child abuse and their non-offending family members as they make their way through the difficult and often frightening process of a child abuse investigation. The Sunrise Beach Little Theater will be presenting the drama comedy play The Hallelujah Girls by Jesse Jones, Nicholas Hope, and Jamie Wooten as a Dean Air Theater production May 30th through June 1st at the Sunrise Beach Community Center. The Hallelujah Girls, directed by Cheryl Glaw, is a comedy about five feisty females of Eden Falls, Georgia, who try to turn an abandoned church into a day spa called Spotty Da. Admission includes a four-course dinner prepared and served by Sunrise Beach Little Theater volunteers. Doors open at 5 o'clock p.m. and dinner will be served at 6 o'clock. The play will begin at 7 p.m. Omega Coffee Shops turning 10 years old and owner Kenny Pirin has scheduled a jam session to celebrate. The session scheduled for 10 a.m. Saturday, June 1st at the coffee shop. Public's invited to come and celebrate. The Smashing Skeeters will perform live music and an open invitation is extended to any musician who wants to bring their instruments and jam as well. Kenny Pirin is a talented barista and professional coffee roaster who's been in the coffee business locally since 1997. Omega Coffee is located on Main Street in Lorry. Also on Saturday, Lake Area Master Gardeners will host the 7th Annual Garden Walk. The tour features a wide variety of plantings and outdoor living areas. Local artists from the Ozark Brush and Palette will be painting in the gardens during the event. It all begins at 9 a.m. at Wilmore Lodge in Lake Ozark. On Sunday, the lake area will bid farewell to local musician Bob Johnson. He'll perform beginning at 3 p.m. Johnson's been the music director and organist at St. George Episcopal Church and has directed and produced music at the many musical productions in Camdenton High School, Lake Area Art Council events, and Lake Area Performing Arts Guild. Johnson and his wife are moving from the lake to Springfield. For tickets to the farewell performance, visit the Lake Area Arts Council local First National Banks, Central Banks, or the Camdenton Community Christian Church.
You need to come around to see me 